to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. Subscribe to my channel down there if you haven't already. But today I'm going to be creating this makeup look right here. It's a bold lip but with a really nice bronzy skin and bronzy metallic eye. I am digging this look. I like it. I like it for date night. I like it for the evening. I think it's a really nice glam look. And I think with a black outfit this would look hot AF like I think it looks so sexy so if you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look then just keep watching and make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like it if you like content like this and I will know so I can create some more for you guys okay so to start off at this drugstore red lip makeup tutorial we're gonna start off with the revolution baking oil this is to hydrate and prep the skin you guys know that I like a really nice hydrated skin to start off with so I'm gonna take a couple of drops of this bad boy I'm gonna pop it on my skin on my face and just massage it down to my neck area as well okay so I'm gonna give that a couple of seconds just to absorb and really penetrate the skin what I would say is for me personally there are three way three ways of wearing a red lip either you wear a red lip and you wear very little little eye makeup just a little bit of mascara but no eyeshadow no nothing just let the lip be the bold statement on your face or you can wear a red lip with a tiny bit of a crease color and then a wing liner or the last one is I love a red lip with a bronzy eye so just a bronzy metallic kind of eye I like that so I think that I'm gonna go with the bronzy metallic eye because I don't have anything really sitting on my channel like that and I think it's quite nice for an evening glam look so for foundation I've actually picked up I picked this up yesterday this is the Revlon Youth FX fill and blur foundation in the shade caramel I know I'm caramel in Revlon it tends to be a touch darker for me but personally I think you need to have a bronzy skin when doing a red lip I feel like that suits me better because it doesn't show up my ashiness as much I don't know how it works I need to bronze as well with it it just kind of works like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the Revlon foundation I'm going to pop it all over the skin and then I'm just going to beauty blender that all out and take it down to my neck and chest area as well okay so as you can tell this foundation is actually I would say probably a full shade darker for me However, I like to go darker when I'm doing a red lip. It just works. A really nice tan skin works a lot better. And a top trick would be that if you are going to bronze, it's easier to actually go darker with your foundation and lighten up with things like concealer as opposed to go light with your foundation and then bronze up. It's just something that I've learned. So if it looks like this, I will just go that shade darker. I forgot to tell you guys that this foundation is very lightweight. It's not that full coverage, so you can sort of get away with it. I don't like full coverage foundations anyway. I like something to be more like a BB, a little bit dewy, and that's exactly what it is. Don't mind my sideburns. I'm letting them grow because you guys told me in my last video that I've taken up my hair, threaded it too high, and it looks like a wig. So I'm trying to let it grow, so just excuse this mess right here. So I've just zoomed you guys in because now that the foundation's on, I like to move on to eyes before then... I move on to concealer and finish everything off. I work in really weird ways when doing my makeup, but I want to be as natural as possible and show you guys how I would do it. So I'm going to move on and forward with brows. We're just going to fill them in with the Freedom Brow Pomade in this is the shade Dark Brown, very, very similar to the Anastasia one. If not, more or less the same thing. So I'm just going to fill my brows in with this, just filling them in with light hair strokes. Now I just want to kind of clean up my brow. So I like to just add concealer on my brow bone and bring it on to the lid, just to prep the lid as well. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Unfortunately, the colour's rubbed off, but it is one of the lighter ones. I would say it's probably in the top four lighter ones. And it doesn't really matter. You can use any concealer. I just want to go underneath my brow bone, bring this onto the lid, and then just blend it out using a damp beauty blender. Now, just to quickly set these eyes in place, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio Finish Powder. This is just a translucent powder. It doesn't matter what powder. You just want to set these eyes in place before we go on to eyeshadow. So when I add powder, I know this looks really weird, but I do it with like a little tapping motion. I'm actually like hitting my eye as opposed to a swirling or a swiping and then I'll go in and buff. The only reason I do that is because I'm well aware that there's a lot of, not a lot, but it's quite emollient on my eyelids, especially if you do have quite oily naturally eyelids. Everyone has produces oil, but some people produce a little bit more oil. So by not buffing straight away, sometimes it can separate and make that concealer congeal. So I like to tap and then buff. 
Okay, so I'm going to use quite a few different eyeshadows today. You don't have to. I just want to give you a variation of what is in the drugstore. So you can either pick that one if that one's more you or try that one. Or if that was a little bit more affordable for you, then you can go for this one. So that's why I'm using a few different eyeshadow palettes just to show you what is out there in the drugstore. I'm going to start off by using the Obsession eyeshadow palette. This is a really nice eyeshadow palette. I, don't think it's, I think the name is Love Every Shade. But it's an everyday one, it's beautiful, it's got some satin shimmery colours and then it's got matte colours as well. So I'm going to start off just by taking this shade called Fresh, which is the beige colour. I'm going to pop this on my brow bone. So I just noticed this. That's embarrassing. You guys are probably screaming at the screen going, you haven't blended in your foundation. That's really embarrassing. Sorry guys. Now going back into that same palette, I'm going to take the colour Zeal, which is the lighter matte brown out of the two, and I'm going to pop this into my crease and take it up to my brow bone as well, just to blow that out. Now if it looks like I'm sweating, that's because I am, because it's boiling in here, but I can't open that door because I don't want it to be too loud for you guys. I'm next going to go into the shade Unique, which is a little bit more of a warmer brown, something that I would tend to go for a lot, and I love this colour, I'm just going to pop that above the crease because this colour was a little bit too cool for me. Okay, so now that that smoke is there, we don't want it to be crazy, and don't worry if you've come too far down because we've still got to do concealer. We just want something for our metallic shades to blend into, so I just wanted something there. Now, if you are looking to purchase this palette or you've got this one at home, for the next two colours, I would mix Thrill and Winner together, which is the bronze and the gold, to create a really nice kind of bronzy colour for this look. Because I want to show you other options, I've got these CYO eyeshadows, very similar to them colours. This one is the metallic eyeshadow in Crush on Metal, Lovey Dovey, and this is the metallic eyeshadow Crush on Metal in Kui. These are both beautiful colours, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix these two together. And also, look at the design of them, they're absolutely stunning. I'm going to mix these two together and then I'm going to pop them onto the lid. Okay, so don't worry about the masses of fallout but you want that kind of bronzy coppery color notice that i've used a fluffier brush usually i wouldn't i'd use like a thin flat brush and maybe even spray it with a little bit of water to really get that pigment packed on however i wanted it to be a little bit more of a softer application okay now i'm going to cheat a tiny bit and i'm so sorry it's just i couldn't find anything in the drugstore like this this product also doesn't help that it costs a bomb it's the Stila. this is the comex Copper Magnificent Metal Eyes. Love this product. Rarely use it because it is so, so, so expensive. But it's a beautiful kind of copper colour. And I want to use it today just because it's got that sparkle factor in it. You could use a Collection 2000 to have some Glitter Flex liquids that you could use in instead of this but i haven't got that one they do have some coppery ones you could use like a liquid shadow just with a little bit of glitter but because i want this to be really really metallic and i want a little bit of shimmer i'm just gonna dab a little bit of this comic copper over the top on my lid i just think this product is so stunning i don't own anything like it and if i'm honest i haven't seen anything in the drugstore like it i wouldn't ever use it's kind of like creamy you get a liquid that you can put in it as well the only downside is, is they're expensive, they're like £28 for a little pot and you're not going to use it every single day but it is stunning when you use it. Now let's move back to skin because I like to complete the skin before I look at whether the eyes need any more work done to them. So I'm going to go in with the Revolution Concealer and Define, I'm in the shade at C12, love this concealer, really really full coverage. So I'm just going to pop a little bit underneath my eyes and on my top lip and then blend that out using a damp beauty blender. Next, let me go in with a tiny bit of highlight. We don't want to highlight too much because I want this to be a little bit more of a tan look. I'm going to be taking that Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again and just popping it underneath my eyes, down the centre of my face and then blending that out. Now I'm in need of a desperate, desperate bronze. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the collection Bronze Glow Matte powder and this is in the shade number one at terracotta very similar to give me sun i can't stress that to you guys enough not as pigmented but the color is more or less the same so i'm just going to take some of this i'm going to take quite a bit of bronzer i'm going to bronze my cheeks bronze my temples bronze my jawline as well just to give us a really nice tan look moving on to highlight i'm going to be using the tonya bear cosmetics this is the illuminating palette in warm bronze the reason why the, the reason why i'm using this powder is because it's not got glitter flex in it i don't want to take away from the metallic eyes but i still want 
like a nice sheen so i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this just on my cheekbones now moving back to that obsession eyeshadow palette i'm gonna go back in with both mattes just mix them together and i'm just gonna pop it underneath my lower lash line just to smoke that area out so now i'm actually gonna move on to lips i want to do my red lip to see how intense i want my eyes to look whether i want to do any liner or if i want to do anything like that so for lips i'm going to be using this is the sleek matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream and this is in the shade Rioja red i believe that's what it's called it's a beautiful red but it's got like a hint of a neon orange to it which i like so it's not a really really cherry red it's just got a little bit more of that kind of orangey vibe going on so i'm just going to pop this all over the lip i'm just going to quickly just going to quickly blot this it's weird because i much prefer a red lip after it's blotted than when it's too too strong i like them a little bit more toned down if that sort of makes sense okay so doing your lip like this just gives me a little bit of an insight as to what i can get away with on the eyes i was initially going to do like a brown smoked liner but i think that would be a bit too much what i think i can get away with is a really nice in a corner highlight so for this i'm going to be using the revolution highlighter quad in ignite i'm going to take these two gold colors and just pop this into my inner corner but just using a blending brush so it's more of a smoked out in a corner highlight now the last thing for me to do is pop on mascara and lashes i'm going to be using the bouche lashes in so do i i have worn these to the absolute maximum probably worn them about 50 times no lie and they're still standing strong they're a little bit more of a neutral eyelash still being a little bit more dramatic so it fits in with my style but a little bit more on the neutral side so i'm just going to chuck these babies on now my lashes are on you don't have to go for big lashes you could go for small ones ardell wispies would be beautiful with this look or equally you could just put mascara on i'm just going to chuck a little bit of the maybelline lash sensational mascara on my lower lashes and i'm just going to quickly blend my natural lashes as well so i've been doing this recently where i put my lashes on and then blend with the mascara i've always been taught not to do it that way because you ruin your lashes however this is so much easier and you get it so much closer as well and then lastly i'm just going to finish off with revolutions hyaluronic fix just to refresh all of my makeup so i'm just going to give my skin a little bit a couple of spritz of this and that is it guys for this look i hope you guys really enjoyed it it's not really like me to do a bold lip on my channel it's not something that i do you guys know that i love I love a glossy lip or a nude lip nowadays so the red's a little bit different, but I love it with the metallic eye. Let me know what you think of it down below. Let me know if you will be recreating this look. I think it is perfect for an evening glam look or a date night look. Just when you want to look a little bit sultry and sexy, I think it's beautiful. Let me know down below nonetheless. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already to become a part of the family. And that is it, guys. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.